This is Kelly with Psycho Yoga. I'm here with uh, Thomas. He does uh, charge fitness and he's also a Qigong instructor, so personal trainer. And uh, we're neighbors. And so um, what we're doing here is trying to get into uh, our forearm stand and then we're going to work our forearm stand into a 45 minute flow. So you can practice it, practice it, practice it. I like doing inversions in the afternoon because they get your heart rate up, they uh, fight fatigue, they get your metabolism going, um, and they're really kind of easy to do if you can do them on your own. Um, so we're going to start with uh, we're going to start with pyramid and go over the uh, basic uh, alignment in pyramid. There's two ways to begin. I like to get in through prasari cuff, so you have your heels out and your toes in. Give the shoulders a good stretch by clasping your hands or wrists in my case. Press up and then fold. Uh, round your inner thighs in to let your hips open up. And from here, you're getting comfortable being upside down. Now there's a version of Prasarita uh, in which you walk your hands through your feet. So if you want to peek at me, Mr. Thomas, walk your hands through your feet. And then from here, you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the crown of the head to the earth. Alrighty. And his hamstrings are gonna let him do it. Yeah, we just, I've been sitting at a desk all morning. I so. know. Well, in the 45 minute flow we get into, uh, we'll start opening up our hamstrings. Uh, so, he's got the concept here. This is what most people miss out on. If you want a triangle, a literal triangle, between both hands and your head, this should be an even triangle. Now, I say this a thousand times because inevitably people bring their head with their hand all in one line. There's no tripod here, you know, it's just you're going to tilt over one way or the other with your head directly on the floor. So, a nice angle, and if his hamstrings will let him, then he could find his, uh, back his hips over his head and sneak in through here to the foot. <laughs> when you're, if you're supporting a partner without the wall, the setup is one foot forward, one foot back, stay away from the seat, and then just gently to the earth, trying not to come down on the head either way. Another way to get into Prasarita, uh, to tripod through um, Prasarita, which is probably going to be more comfortable for you, is called dead bug. Um, so, I still count, can start like this, and then shift, walk your feet back, and then squeeze in through your core, left and right. Thomas is doing great, expressing no fear, holding it as just as um, tight as he could, for as long as he could, and um, yeah, so he was doing good. Even um, when he fell out, he fell out in a way of no fear. He didn't come down himself. He trusted me to um, just try to hold the posture as long as he could. And no fear is the way to the way to go. Once you're able to get into these postures, you know, be brave and know that you have the power to do these postures. Did you want to try your dead bug? Sure. Dead bug. Uh huh. Set your triangle up. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. Yeah. All the way back. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's also got a great alignment of um, elbow and wrist here too. Okay. So you squeeze one in, one knee into your chest, simply squeeze, and then you would wiggle that foot up, kind of stack your hips, and then and you got your dead bug right here. This is a great oh, yeah. place for beginners to hang out, and sometimes beginners like to bring their knees to their elbows, but. Lift with your core, don't distract, stack yourself up on your elbows, no benefit there.
before. Glory goes with no fear of falling over. And here you go. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, I hope that you can join us in our 45 minute inversion slope class. Uh, 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 uh.